Hello guys, my name is Fox and welcome to part 23 of our Crusader Kings 2 Horse Lord series. Let's continue. So, in the previous episode we've been just slowly and peacefully conquering uh, the Europe using our horses and we got interrupted by the Abbasids. Because Abbasids were uh, pretty sure that they could like capture a dashi from us and not even... Uh, not even have any losses for this, but they was wrong. Already at 96%, we destroyed most of their armies and also sieged the province they have in here, so this war gonna end pretty soon in like couple of months because we already have this ticking war score. Oh, it's already the third opposite holy war for Kiva. Yeah, third failed war. Your Sunni gods doesn't help you, looks like our Manichen ones actually a lot better. So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna finish this war and then uh, continue to dealing with Europe. Already took one province in Scandinavia in where, uh, in which I want to create another one tribe. What do you want? Uh, I'm not gonna be releasing anyone unless they have money to pay for themselves. As I already said millions of times. Okay, so yeah. Uh, let's actually get up to speed 4, I think it should be fine. No Abbasid armies around, actually we have one... It's not even Abbasid, who the hell is that? Uh, Africa. Africa. Really? How the heck African army could get here? Oh! You have ships in here. Really? You got all the way around Europe, around Scandinavia, around Russia, and you got your boss here. That was a dumb decision. But thanks for giving me some more war score against your body, because it looks like you're an ally. Yeah. Thanks. 100%. Give me all your money. Oh! This time it's gonna be 1000. Last time we checked it, it were like 500, I'm pretty sure. Okay. 1,000 uh, free ducats is always welcome. Uh, it's gonna be so much upgrades for our capital. First of all, we need to replace all the destroyed trade posts. Actually, I already done this. Done this in Oshirsana. And when we have three trade post limit, right? If I remember correctly. Yes, so just keep uh, upgrading our our capital. Cultural points. Uh, nah. Population. So, uh, supply limit, yes. That's actually the thing I want. Because supply limit is so garbage. So, we have 37,000 in here. Oh yeah, and we have one stack in there. So you're gonna be going here. And I wanted to split... Oh, Denmark. We have so much territory in here. That's not fair. Uh, I wanted to split my clan into this place. So I guess I should be able to do it right now, right? So, in Koki Salmi. Uh, where is it? Koki Salmi. Sounds about right. We have a new clan whose name is Blue Clan. Oh, that sounds great. And. Why is our number of clans not getting higher? Maybe I'm reaching some kind of uh, threshold. Has not reached as a maximum clan size. Yeah, maybe we have like some limit to the number of clans. But it would be actually really unfortunate because I couldn't conquer the rest of the world with only 9 clans. Because it's gonna look really ugly. But oh well. Uh, my nephew, definitely be patient. This army, what are we gonna do with you? Uh, probably could expand somewhere else. You should have the truth with cover, right? No, we do not. Actually, Kabar uh, is the ones who attacked us previously. So we have like 1000 troops. We could expand this guy a little bit more using the Kabar. Oh, why are you imprisoned <laughs> by the Byzantine Emperor? That's fun. Okay, this army going here and we're gonna probably attack Kola next. Because Denmark seems a little bit powerful. Actually, you only have 1,000 troops. Denmark, you're so weak. I'm probably gonna be able to 
conquer tons of lands from you is no real problem. Uh, okay, so you just guys move in. This army definitely need to do something. Also, an pillage available. 10 gold, not enough. Construction is going. The straight post construction is going as well. Okay. So, Bojok. Only have one province left. Uh, let's see. Sad moment. What if you have a truce with you so I can conquer you? Copt is no longer Chancellor. Let's get a new one. My nephew. Yeah, sounds fine. And you're gonna be improving my clan sentiment. So who need to be improved? Mushte. Why are you so upset about me? And no. So let's go and improve that. They are not expanding this region still for some reason. Defending against someone's host. Yeah, you it would be a lot better if you were defending against my people. But oh well. Also, uh, I would be trying to improve this uh, this building for the supply limit as much as possible. Because I actually had no idea that this sink exists. So yeah. Uh, for conquering all of these uh, tribal holdings, we would need to have a lot of uh, supply limit bumps. Local progress of town infrastructure in Kawakin increased to 50%. Oh, tons of stuff got increased to 50%. Okay. Thanks for that. It's probably actually with the help of our spy master. Oh, never mind. Oh, yes, he is studying technology. So it probably helps, right? And no. Mm. Yes, spy master studying technology plus 9%, plus 7%. So we are getting all the technology from Constantinople we can. Just sweet. So, Kola, are you at war? You are attacking uh, Swiftjot. In some war, uh, I guess you're just gonna cease to exist, so... Uh, that's unfortunate for you. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna let you move for a second. Just to uh, lower the chances that we're gonna lose someone due to attrition and stuff. So, yeah, conquest of tough this place. And an assault. Uh, 22%, really? You do have some more lands. God damn it. Okay, I'm just gonna go back to my lands to stop suffering nutrition. My son become cruel. Good for you. 53% from this one province, unfortunately. And there's your army, actually. Destroying the army. Gonna be definitely a nice bonus in our war score. So let's go and do this. Probably gonna be able to run away, unfortunately. But I guess we would have to follow you. I know we're gonna suffer even more attrition, but what could you do? 86%. Really? We have no army anymore. And you're still not willing to surrender. Oh, in the Denmark provinces we actually have quite a lot more workers than, the, than in these ones. Okay, I guess I'm gonna stay here for now. My nephew could be kind, definitely. Uh, should we just wait for the ticking war score? Probably yes. I don't want to move in here. That's too much work. So, uh, this army. What am I gonna do with you? First of all, destroy the stupid pillagers. What the hell are they doing in here? Also, you finished your trade post. And I could not upgrade it. Okay, what about the capital? Capital finished their mid things. Whatever they were called. Let me find it. Uh, meat preserver. Get some more. Thanks. And is it shorted here? Technology in Fergana plus 25%. Building in Kavakin plus 9%. Okay. Constantine of Kulk has created the Duchy of Ugra. Okay. Ugra is somewhere here, right? I uh, should be somewhere around here. And you created it. Okay. Fine with me. Oh, Kabar have revolt. Right on our border. That would be actually really convenient if we were to attack it right now. 
Uh, let's get our army close to here and we'll see if we want to do that. So, mid preserver level 2 is being built. It, or is building, I don't know. Sense for improving relations a little bit more. It's 600, 170. Yeah, everyone look relatively fine in here. Also, blue currently have zero nomadic uh, holdings. That's really strange that the capital doesn't count. Probably because we have this burn in here. Unfortunately, I did not manage to destroy it while pillaged one time. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna sit here, wait for it to get 100%, and then we probably could even just do... Oh! Cola, that's why I have so few Warscar with you. We have this third province in here. Okay, doesn't matter. Yeah, after this we probably could just uh, attack uh, Denmark right away. It shouldn't be much of a problem. We have only 1000 troops and we have 3500 in here. Um, this army is... Okay, so Akhun, are you attacking him? Uh, defending against Hanakun of Akhun, conquest of Ishin. Ishim. Oh, okay. It's actually getting kind of ugly. Because Akun is getting into this line between these two clans, so it's not kind of perfect, okay? Uh, yeah, that's fine. If you want to conquer something, you could conquer it. And their revolt already ended. Uh, I thought you actually, he actually declared war on, uh, on the revolt. There's a man I need to arrest and another I want to assassinate. My spy master Begley could either help me with the arrest or the assassination, but not both. Arrest chance plus 10, plot power increase plus 10. Let's get plot power. Not that I'm planning on plot against anyone right now. But... Who knows. Maybe I would need to kill someone. And actually... Oh, uh, never mind. I thought about assassinations, but... Uh, assassination button got removed from, from the game, but... Uh, it's been talking about plot power and arrest chance, not assassination. So... Mm, some more ransoms. We have 1000 targets. Which we're not spending on anything. How about... Building up our... Actual army. Uh, 3700 in here, 35 in here, so... We have tons of light cavalry, tons of... Or, and not as much special troops. Who actually have more attack? So, attack values. 0 0.7, 0 0.1, 0 0.13, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.17. Uh, do you say that horse archers are actually worse than the light cavalry? Oh, in the skirmish phase they are better. In the melee phase they are uh, worse, in the pursuit they are also worse, and their defense value is, is lower. So the only advantage is skirmish phase. Okay, I guess I'm not gonna be building that much horse archers anymore then. Let's get some uh, heavy and light cavalry, like four, five, one special, and some more of this. Okay, that seems to be enough. 2,000 more troops for our army. Sounds great. Good investment in something. Uh, I oh yeah, you're paying ransom. Good job. Okay, yeah, 97% seven, uh, uh, power in this, or... How do you call it? War score, yeah. And all of a sudden we're suffering attrition in here again. It's not fair. Okay, let's move to there. And please finish the war. Okay, give me this province and give me the normal freaking supply limit. Yeah, thanks. So, we're gonna burn it down. We're gonna not pillage this place for now. It could get ourselves one more commander. Let's see who we have in here. Some combat modifiers, hopefully. Um, nope. 
Okay, and it's gonna be you. And yeah, we just need to give it away to this guy, so Hame is gonna be yours. Mm, number of clans. Max number of clans 9 and 1 plus 66 divided by 5. Uh, why divided by 5? Desires counts as per clan. Mm -hmm. 66 is probably the total num uh, number of provinces we have. So it should grow is uh, when our number of provinces would grow. So we're just gonna be continue expanding and see if it's gonna work out. And it should actually. Uh, so, Denmark, what are you doing right now? You're at war with Tuscany, really? Uh, King Stepanos of Lombardy and Lombard Holy War for Tuscany. Uh, what's, their, what's the different religion they have in here? Oh, Lombardy is Orthodox? What? How the hell this happened? I don't know. And they are declaring a war on whom? Attacking Swift Jot. In Lombardian Holy War for Tuscany. Oh! <laughs> so, Swift Jot have a holding in here. That's crazy. But yeah, I'm not gonna be able to, uh, to keep it, I'm pretty sure. But Orthodox Task, uh, Orthodox Lombard is really weird. Are you like from some dynasty from Byzantine Empire or what? I don't know. So, Denmark. What kind of species do we have against you? Mm, couple of conquests. Make tributary. Subordination of Finland. Finland. One, two, three, four provinces actually. That's pretty nice. Supernation of Karelia is 2. 300 prestige for 4 provinces. Sounds actually pretty great. I'm gonna declare it right away. I'm also gonna call in some of my vassals just in case. Uh, because this war might be costly. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, it's all my vassals joining. I hope you're not gonna have too much allies. I haven't actually bothered to check that. Uh, yes, you have no allies. Good for you. Actually, awful for you. Okay. While we have 25k supply limit in here, I'm not gonna be assaulting. Because it's uh, the odds actually not in our favor. 800 defenders, uh, defenders gonna be a little bit tough to assault. Khan Kotana Vyura has a versatile county of Kuzilkim from... Count Hither the Wise. Uh, okay. Oh, so you just subjugated this guy. Mm, that is just the perfect thing. That's just what I wanted you to do. Good job. Um, okay, so. You managed to build a fort in here. Of course. You're a freaking tribal people. And you, uh, you know how to build forts. That makes sense. Also. Our steward is kind of creepy, and we, we probably could replace him with someone else, which I will, will do right now. And they're just gonna be tr uh, overseeing construction in the capital, trying to help us upgrade a little bit quickly. Mid preserver level 2, thanks. Level 3, unfortunately, is uh, not available. And also, holding is not building anything. Yeah, it's not building. Okay, next thing gonna be what? Some more income from Minter? Nah. Population growth moral of armies. Sounds great. So, let's re siege this fort. Let's siege this place. Oh, what is this fort? It's 3% worthless from one bottle. That's great. It's probably gonna be pretty quickly war. Actually, considering that you only have 1,000 troops, yeah, it's not gonna be too much of a problem. The only threat, uh, or the only dangerous situation could happen is that uh, if you had enough prestige, you could actually spawn uh, event, spawn troops. I don't remember how they called, like, uh, tribe something. 
just as a special event, special uh, thing for the tribe people. And if you saw our series where we've been playing, playing as the tribes, actually it's probably were West African as well. They could do the same, so it's pretty interesting to abuse this button while you have uh, tons of prestige. It helps quite a lot. Okay, there's our one siege. Are you guys gonna be capable of sieging this place without my help? Mm, probably not, because you're dumb. Have a new son from our concubine, okay. Uh, just sit here, okay? And don't try to stuck with me. Have our Iraq producer in the capital. Let's get something else. Max population plus three, sounds great. And actually, it is already a time for me to have a break, guys. So I am gonna do this and we're gonna continue our expansion into Scandinavia in the next episode. So, if you enjoyed watching this, you could leave a like. If you want to see more, you could subscribe. And if you want to leave a comment, you should definitely do it. And I would answer you as soon as I could. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.